Hi Leo, this is your November mid-month tarot reading. I do three separate spreads in my mid-month readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage, and I'll do a love from the past spread. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love in the second half of November. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands, we have the Ten of Pentacles. In the potential outcome, we have the Nine of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. And we also have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries or pretty much any Zodiac sign. This is a general reading. Well, um, Leo, somebody's gonna come in, but you're gonna make them work for it. And to be honest with you, I vaguely recall seeing a similar reading for you at some point in the past. So, uh, <laughs> yep. Um, this person is coming in, and um, this person is the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. We do have that Emperor right there. It could be an Aries you're dealing with, or it kind of feels like you want them to become the Empress. So they, because uh, we all know you Leos are Empress and Empresses, right? And uh, you want them to step up to your level, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? Perhaps you've got your standards, we all have our standards and this person when they come in when you just meet them you do see the potential you do see uh, you yourself together with this person but they need to do some work on themselves and perhaps they also need to work a little harder you know to get your full and undivided attention right and like I said there's nothing wrong with that it's just you being very wise because you wouldn't just settle for anybody besides the Emperor <laughs> and uh, the first card that came out is uh, the Ace of Pentacles and it's clarified by the Ace of Swords, two Aces. So yeah, I think your plan is going to work out. Um, they want you, they want you really bad. One Ace clarifying the, another Ace, right? The Ace of Swords is a brand spanking new beginning. The Ace of Swords is them, com them coming towards you, being very straightforward, very direct. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. To me personally, the Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of all Aces. I don't mean to belittle any other Aces, but the Ace of Pentacles is like a bundle. It's like a package. All Aces combined into one, and one Ace left find the other. Oh boy. Yeah. You're going to um, start up the fire inside this person's heart, inside this person's head, and uh, they're just gonna, you know, do what you want them to do, all right? I'll just say it. They'll do what you want them to do. The Nine of Wands, the next card I came out after the uh, Two Aces, is your energy. The Nine of Wands often comes through as a wounded warrior, but I think in this case, this is you playing that game, right? Um, the Nine of Wands is somebody who says, you know what, I'm not so sure. Um, I do like you, but um, are you really up the challenge? Do you really... I, I need you to show me, I need you to prove me that um, it's going to be worth my time and energy to be with you. Something among those lines, right? And uh, like I said, they will prove it to you, they'll show it to you. With the two aces and uh, the ten of pentacles on the other side of the nine of wands. The ten of pentacles is one of the commitment or marriage cards. It's a very solid, very... Uh, grounded, very long-term type of a connection, the type of a connection that the Emperor would bring to the table, right? <laughs> In the potential outcome, we have the Nine of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, and again, I do see this repeat of the same type of deal there. The Nine of Pentacles, the first card that came out, this is you, um, Leo, this is a card of a single person, but at the same time, it's also a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, somebody who is independent, somebody who is doing really good financially, somebody who's got um, standards, high standards. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is often called uh, the Empress of the Minor Arcana card. So, yeah, you know, you can do good without this person, right? You could, you could, you'll be all right. They need to step up, they need to do all the work. And uh, like I said, all the work they will, they will do. Um, right next to the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true. It's also a card of personal satisfaction. So like I said, you're getting what you want. And uh, the last card I came out is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. So Leo, just to sum up, yeah, they're coming in. You want them to uh, 
step up you want them to become the emperor you want them to show you how much they want you and how much they're going to be dedicated to this connection and uh, they will two aces and uh, the ten of pentacles which is a commitment on marriage card so yeah really happy for you leo congratulations Leo, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Fool, we have the Six of Swords clarified by the world, we have the Sun, and we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, I see either travel or a very spontaneous new beginning for the two of you. And uh, both of you are going to be really happy about it. <laughs> so the Fool, the first card that came out, this is a card of a taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. Um, every once in a while the full also comes uh, through as spontaneous travel or spontaneous new beginning, right? The next card over is the Six of Swords and it's clarified by the world. Both of those cards could represent travel. The Six of Swords is a card of movement, right? And the world every once in a while comes through as a card of some place remote, some place that is at a distance from you. So that's where you could be going. For others of you, those two cards will play out as... Um, a new beginning, right? A new chapter. Um, the Six of Swords is always a card of an improvement. So, uh, for those of you who've been sort of distant from each other, perhaps the two of you will start a class together. The two of you will um, start something new together, right? And that will ultimately improve your relationship or your marriage, you know, because you'll be doing something together, right? And the world is um, a card of us. Um, the world is my happy end card, basically. This is a new chapter of your life starting, a very happy chapter. And as already mentioned, I think um, the Six of Swords is a card of an improvement. The Six of Swords is also a card of the rough patch being over. Then we have the Sun. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck. The Sun is also all about uh, going someplace warm <laughs> if you're traveling, right? But uh, like I said, if the two of you are starting something together, it'll make you happy. And the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this is the two of you in love. Or are you t the two of you remembering or bringing love back into your relationship or into your marriage. So, yeah, like I said, this is either the two of you traveling together or the two of you starting something together to improve your relationship or marriage. And it will do just that. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, this uh, second half of November. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Three of Cups, clarified by Justice and Temperance. We also have the Four of Wands and the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Sagittarius or pretty much any zodiac sign. So there was a breakup, right? The Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is a card of a breakup, this is a card of a fight, this is a card of a fight that causes a breakup and it could have gotten ugly because the Five of Swords is a card of two people severing ties and having to say a few harsh words on the way out, right? So this is what happened. The Queen of Wands, the first card that came out, this is uh, you. Leo, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Then we have the Three of Cups, clarified by Justice and Temperance. Justice is the personal Libra card. Temperance is the personal Sagittarius card. Um, but if we want to stay general, then Justice is a card of a major, major apology. And Temperance is uh, them also wanting to bury the hatchet with you, them apologizing to you, healing the situation, right? Wanting to reconcile with you. The Three of Cups, those two cards are uh, clarifying. The Three of Cups is a card of a reunion. For very few of you, if you're going to an event or a party or a gathering in the second half of November, you could bump into this person, into this ex, and, uh, you know, that will give you a start. <laughs> They'll start talking to you, and uh, the two of you will be getting back together. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and call it a reconciliation. Right. The last card that came out is the 401s. The 401s is a card of uh, marriage or a commitment. Um, to me personally, the 401s reminds me of the actual wedding. So <laughs> the two of you could be getting married at some point in the future. Um, and uh, the 401s is also called the 1111 card. So yeah, even though that breakup was ugly, the two of you are getting back together and hopefully this time around it works out. 
All right, so this uh, this is what I got for you, Leo, for this uh, time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. And other than that, Leo, have an amazing the rest of November. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.